Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Welcome back to the Virgo vibe, you guys. Uh, thank you for being here. My, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying, bastards all right Virgos you guys tend to have a tendency to overthink we all do we overthink we overanalyze and here we go again you need a good fucking cry get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you so I feel like we're still kind of in that residual moon energy and again whatever you're thinking about now is not the right time okay so this is a repeat of yesterday's reading um, so don't believe every thought you have and don't believe everything you hear either which Virgos are not usually gullible individuals. I will say that. Usually Virgos are pretty, um, they're, they're human lie detector test, or they're, well, that too. Um, you know, they have Scorpio as their third house of like the mind. So Virgos are like Scorpios when it comes to thinking. In fact, Virgos can be meaner than a Scorpio um, just because Virgos have already thought it out and they've already analyzed it. So um, Virgo for January 15th. Spirit, please show me the Virgo for January 15th. Okay, wow, we are the King of Cups in the same position on yesterday's reading. Underneath whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Uh, Seven of Cups is all about having options, okay, and too many options at that and really needing to narrow them down. You know, some options are good, some options are not. Like, who the hell wants a tornado, right? Okay, so I feel like today's reading, it is all about the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is a brand new beginning. This is the opportunity of a brand new beginning. The thing is, and this could have a lot to do with work and people coming at you uh, to... For your expertise, I, you know, this is the Hierophant here. I want to say it's the Hierophant. Um, but this is all about like uh, being the master of your craft. I do want to say that, um, you know, there is an offer coming in and I feel like, um, but it's free will. And you're going to have to decide on whether or not this is what you want or if this is what you want to do, whether this is you accepting an offer or you um, receiving an offer, okay? So whatever that is, I think for some of you, um, I am getting like having family issues and things like that. And, you know, I, I do want to say that whoever here is offering you something, uh, it is something that is very practical, tangible. And I think emotionally, I feel like you will be very satisfied but it is entirely up to you on whether or not you want to um, uh, accept this offer or not. Um, let me see if I can find my Google Translator. No, I don't know where that is. There it is. Okay. the ruler okay yeah so yeah this is the ruler that's what I was thinking what was earlier this is somebody who is you know king of the castle he's somebody who is you know sitting on his throne or her throne I am not gender specific here and it's like you are the ruler of your own life you're the ruler when it comes to your emotions nobody can take on take that control of those so I feel like whatever these options are you really need to narrow things down and really decide on what you want to accept and what you don't okay at the end of the day Again, we have this King of Cups. Um, King of Cups is someone who here who is the master of their emotions, typically. But the fact that you are really needing a good cry means that maybe it's time for you to just sit down in a room or in the shower um, and just let it all go, okay? Just let it out and do what you guys need to do. Uh, be careful because I feel like around this new moon, full moon, new moons and full moons, people have a tendency to drink too much, okay? So you want to be mindful of, uh, you know, especially when I'm seeing the seven of cups here and again, uh, the king of cups. So this could be somebody who has addiction issues and somebody who has, um, who is, 
overly emotional, period. I mean, there's no other way of even looking at that. So taking back control of your life, and I feel like, you know, somebody here who has been trying to, yeah, release your ex, um, the time has come to clear your energy. So maybe there is some, you know, money coming in uh, or an offer in order for you to help release your ex. I don't know what that means for you, but um, you should know in spirit one more for the Virgo. Please show me Virgos. Okay, there it is. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. That's what I'm talking about. So I want to say release your ex. I feel like your ex keeps trying to come back in and, and, and gain control over you. And I feel like there's this, like, you're trying to pull away and this person is trying to come back in. And it's like, I, I, I just feel like this push-pull and it's telling you, you really need to watch out. I think that you've already been burned by this person in the past. Um, and I feel like this person is constantly trying to come in and basically knock you off your throne. Um, you know, so, and I know for me, I did just have that recently as well, you know, um, it's like, and it's ridiculous and it comes out of nowhere. It's like these weird monkey wrenches. So just be mindful of that. You guys, um, I'm not really seeing a whole lot for love today, except for, you know, if you are with someone, this is the romance of a lifetime. And if you are not with someone right now, uh, you know, it's because you are needing to release if you have a financial uh, burden with your ex, you need to release that, especially because this is what's clarifying this. Um, you know, so if you are, you know, paying alimony or paying child support or any of those things, you need to end that cycle so that you can gain back that control so that you can, uh, you're, you're not karmically connected with this person does that make sense hopefully it does for you because I feel like there's there's so many past lives where the two of you guys have come together and I feel like it, you need to end this cycle because I'm really seeing this as a cycle once and for all and I do believe that you are definitely going to get that opportunity to do so anyway you guys I want to thank you for being here thank you for watching and we will chat again tomorrow